Hey guys, Bass from uh, X Force again. Now today I've got one of the latest sort of uh, crazes going around in the gel ball uh, sport or hobby, uh, and that is the M24 Sniper. This fella right here. Now let me point something out. Sniping in gel balling is really not like airsoft right so our best uh, our best snipers out of the box are only going to hit probably about 20 meters but everybody likes a sniper and I think too many people are watching uh, airsoft videos but anyway enough of that let's have a look at what this fella is all about all right so that's the box and Comes obviously with some uh, glasses, a bottle top, some gels, a strap, and what looks to be a big ass suppressor. And we've put one on top here just because, yeah, uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> but I've got another one, so there's two of them, right? There's a silver, like that, and there's a, well, a wannabe wood one like that one there now first impression look I'm gonna use this one size wise is really really good I mean you know there's I think you would have seen one of my early ones off the the hui so let's compare it to size uh, as you can see the difference is quite big that's obviously a kid's toy. This guy is, I think it was about a meter, about 1.4 meters or 1.3 somewhere in there. So it's quite a good length. I don't have a, don't have a, um, a tape measure in here, but uh, from memory, that's what it was roughly about. So. Holding it, it does feel a bit more proper, uh, a bit chunkier. You can actually extend the back bit and just screw that and it sort of comes out. So if you want a bit more, if you're a big guy. Um, now, one of the things that I know a lot of people have complained about is the magazine. It is mag fed, so you basically it's a um, right and bolt action so didn't quite come to mind right there so you basically you pull that back and shoot all right so one thing i need to sort of uh just point out i think i've done it with that the bolt is the way it's designed it's actually not a bad it's a pretty solid little bolt but where you've actually got the little handle this part of the bolt goes through the handle it's quite weak there so if you can don't hold it from here and pull it try and pull it more from closer to the actual base because you're going to find you it might last you a little bit longer and don't treat it like the real ones so don't be all rough and tough with them because they are plastic and they do break there is an upgrade for these uh, a metal bolt interior and the, the whole interior part of it so a lot of guys are doing that and they're putting bigger springs um, the only thing that I've, I've seen a couple of them they're very roughly made and for the price I've got to be honest uh, I was not impressed uh, I think they're retailing some around $130, so it's quite expensive. I will be looking into it and see if we can uh, sort that part out and we can make some local ones maybe a little bit cheaper if possible. Anyway, other than that, it's a really nice blaster. Um, I kind of like the silver, I didn't think I was going to like the silver. I was more, in, I really like my wood, so I was going to really going to go for this one. I'm like, yep, no, the wood one's my, but they just can't make this plastic look 
wood like there right? it's it's a really yeah real plasticky looking wood and it's got a texture that it's slightly rough whereas this is a real smooth real polished it feels really nice um, I wasn't really into this silver gray but it's actually it's grown on me and I'm kind of quite liking it so now the one thing that I am missing uh, I'm gonna take that one out of there is I had these just flown in and I've got the scopes coming so I don't have the scopes for them at the moment but I'm actually going to get some proper just cheaper scopes but scopes that are obviously a bit more proper I don't know what scopes they come with but that one came it looks good but uh, that's about it it looks good from far so yeah the magazine don't ask me how many it holds but it holds enough that's not very big and I know some people are complaining because it sticks out and all the rest but you still want a little bit in there uh, I would guess and say it holds somewhere around 80 odd gels but look it's a sniper for crying out loud so it's uh, it'll do you're not gonna be uh, pulling that back and forth here not uh, all right so otherwise barrel length is quite good the, the actual barrel the inner barrel finishes around there now I've got another one with a hop up on it and I think a 1.3 spring and I think we're hitting close to uh, okay the lights gone out. Uh, we're hitting close to about 35 to 40 meters which is not bad all right so uh, certain things that could probably be upgraded uh, obviously spring I'm looking into that I'm gonna probably get some better springs made and uh, alloy in a barrel uh, that's something that we're gonna have to play around with as stock out of the box we're going to test that out i've done a little bit of shooting out outside it's getting a bit dark out there uh, but uh, i'd say around 20 meters out of the box which is not great but look um, it's not too bad uh, it's definitely not like your rifles all right like your, your standard m4a1s and all these sort of things so uh, which you'd expect to probably a little bit more but we're still testing with the, the gels. Uh, I think so far we're finding the blue ones were apparently hitting a little bit harder in FPS. So I've got some orange ones in here. We'll shoot both and sort of see how they go. Um, look, it's very well made compared to a lot of the other ones. Um, the, the plastic is quite solid and not flimsy as such as some uh, outer barrel is quite strong and for those guys that were waiting for a sniper I've got to say this is about as good as they've come so far I haven't seen any that are close to being this good you know this good in size this good in uh, uh, in the quality of the plastic and, and materials used uh, I still feel they could have gone with probably a, a bit better up here in the, in the inner part of, of where basically your receiver is if you want to call it that uh, and I know the Chinese are not allowed to use metal on the outside but man at least this part here they could have done a little bit with metal so it doesn't break as easy but outside of that great blaster i really want to test it out through the chrono uh, we'll go in the back that it's chockers in there so I'll really excuse the the mess but uh, yeah we're pretty uh full uh, but we'll do a little bit of shooting and uh, give it a test through the chrono and we'll see how they go 
and uh, we should have these up quite soon. I've got a, a big load of them coming on the next container, so hopefully uh, you guys that do want some will have some pretty soon. But, you know, good old favorite and uh, really cool. I think, you know, I know some guys have definitely used them at the, at the skirmishes, but just the backyard shooting cans, awesome fun. Anyway, let's go test them out and uh, see how they go. Alright, so our um, firing range, as you can see it's quite narrow <laughs> and uh, we're back here with the N24 Alright, so we've got the silver and the wood edition So I'm gonna run, I've got oranges in that one and blues in this fella uh, so we'll start, I'll get a couple of shots with the orange. Now this is about, it's about 11 meters roughly. We're getting some very different sort of shots. <laughs> so some are going straight, some are dipping, some are going to the left. Some are going to the right. Now this sucker needs a piece of spring in the hopper. Alright, so I'm gonna give this guy a go with the blues, see if the if the blues make much difference in accuracy. Well, I've got to say, so far I've hit that dot with this a couple of times, and with the oranges, well, it could be the blaster, but I'm betting on um, the gels as well half the time. So I'm going to move the camera down here, I'm going to see if you guys are going to be able to see my chrono, because... I can't actually uh, I think we're good there All right, so I'm gonna turn that sucker and bring it on close as possible and So these are with the blues. So far we had 218, 216, 202, 214, 216, 198, 201, 212. I'd say more in the
Hey. There's a couple of wild ones in there. 218, 207, 212. Two eighteen. Now I had a couple of two eighteens in there. Um, two sixteen, two fourteen, two sixteen. Now you get a couple of them that are a bit lower, or but the average for me. Now it says they're two sixty five, but we had one that was about a thousand, which happens when you get a gel that explodes so for me there I would say around I'd say around the 215 so blues 215 now I'm going to do the orange Back to zero. Yep. So two nineteen, two twenty one, two thirty three, two thirty nine, two twenty nine. Uh, don't tell me about Twenty six to thirty eight to thirty five to forty to thirteen fifteen fourteen. Yeah, it's really a load with the John, really. But, look, so far we had a quite a number of higher readings there. Um, early on we had a couple of readings well into the 230s, 221, 233, 39, 29. 26, 38, 35, 40. Then it came down to 13, 15, 14, 19, 19, 18. Average is out to about 230. So, yeah, I don't know. I will call it about 223. So, looks like our orange is of uh, one this time. So, let me bring this back up. All right, so M twenty four, two hundred and uh, let's call two twenty, average two thirty, uh, on stand that's not bad. Look, with no upgrades whatsoever, um, it's pretty good. I've heard of the of a lot, quite a few guys uh, upgrading and hitting over three hundred. I'm not sure of the distance, but I've got one with just a hop up and I think the 1.3 hitting 
like I said, close to 40 meters, so that's pretty good. Um, look, at the end of the day, guys, we are just using gels, so um, putting some crazy ass springs in there ain't gonna do much difference at the end of the day if you're gonna smash your gels before they come out. So it's still in fairly new uh, gel blaster, so I think a bit of testing is gonna go a long way but uh, it's definitely an improvement compared to a lot of the other snipers that have been previously uh, released so this one's definitely a winner it's nice it feels good it's a good size and so far shoots pretty good so yeah that's my wrap thanks for watching uh, follow us like all that stuff we've got some more coming we've got a fair bit of gear coming and um, i'll keep you guys posted thanks for watching